the man of the moment, Finance Minister Peter Dambram, and all eyes on the budget tomorrow. What is it that we can expect? What's in it for you? Here's a look. When Finance Minister P. Chidambaram walks into Parliament to table the fifth and last budget of the UPA government on Friday, the Harvard trained minister will be walking a tightrope. On the face of it, the going seems good. But economists say the challenges are growing. Growth in the last quarter has been the slowest in the past two years. High interest rates are causing a slowdown in consumer spending. The rising rupee is hurting exporters and IT companies. Volatile stock markets have been keeping investors quite nervous ahead of the budget. And rising food and fuel prices are hitting the common man like never before. Because his revenues are very good, and I think he's been congratulated on that, he should not lose the momentum by giving away silly tax cuts. So what can you expect Mr. Finance Minister to do for you in this year's budget? Sources in the finance ministry say personal tax and corporate tax cuts may be on the cards. Also a possible hike in the income tax exemption limit. There may be some excise duty relief for key sectors like auto and consumer durables. And the much talked about debt relief package for farmers and also a higher spending on key social sectors. Budget 2008 is Chidambaram's chance to prove that good economics can also make good politics. Already Railway Minister Lalu Yadav has set the tone for a populist budget. And with the government in election mode, it seems that the finance minister has no option but to present a please-all budget on Friday. In New Delhi, Shpeta Rajpal Kohli, NDTV.